Have you ever nearly drowned? Yeah, I, ha I have uh, on several occasions actually, oh, I you and, might. and it's a um, pretty vivid experience actually. Um, the first time I can remember, I was um, in a boat with uh, my dad and a couple of cousins and my uncle, and we were putting cray pots out, and um, we we're about, I guess, a mile out over the reef. Um, and out of nowhere, it seemed to us, a um, big set of waves just showed up, you know, this like convoy of lines on the, on the horizon. And um, so, you know, quickly sort of chucked the pots and everything over the, over the side and try and get out of the way. Um, and because my, neither my father nor my uncle was a surfer, um, they thought uh, that they could outrun these waves. And um, so we ended up, you know, we got the, the first wave, I think they just, they tried to go over, and then the second wave, it was, it was even bigger, as you, know, as, you, as you know, these things go running into kind of a weird sets, like threes or sevens. Second one was even bigger, and we were just sort of squeaking over the top, you know, and then the third one was just so big and already starting to break. Bizarrely, instead of just going sideways to the wave and, and heading out into deeper water, um, I turned around and tried to, tried to outrun it, you know, essentially tried to surf <laughs> this, this uh, huge wave, you know, in a, in a 16 foot dinghy and several people aboard. And very quickly, um, you know, we, had, we did have that second and a half of actual surfing the wave. And then uh, next thing I know, um, I'm in a upside down, in a sort of weird um, pastel blue haze uh, with bubbles and I'm uh, trapped up up, you know, in, uh, up in an overturned boat, upside down, and um, and I can remember um, seeing my fingernails and how sort of pearly white they were and how, how pretty it all was. And, we, and I think I just got, you know, I was at the stage where I was, um, I was losing, you know, beginning to lose consciousness. I was, I was literally drowning and I was all caught up in rope and fishing line and all that crap that's in a, in a boat. And uh, an arm came un under and um, hoisted me out. And it was only at the moment when I hit the surface, you know, that I, um, that I understood that I was drowning, you know. And, um, and it was, you know, it was quite, it was like the first breath I ever took in that sense. It was a scream, you know. And, um, and there we all were bobbing around in the water and there's the, the overturned boat. And the just this flat sea with this just sort of um, sh um, light frosting of uh, after foam, if you like, and that was it. It was just the calm sea, and we're all out there, and I'm just, you know, wailing in air, screaming my head off until I could sort of recover my dignity in front of my cousins who were older, and then we think, well, now what? But yeah, there was that. That was the first really vivid experience of almost going. So how old were you? I reckon I was about um, ten or something like that. And and drowning, and also in your books. There's a state that you often, seems to me, that often appears that a state of consciousness, which is sort of like drowning. It's a place of fear and visions, and there's a sort of this semi-submerged thing that I find in a lot of your books. Mm, being sort of out on the on the edge yeah. of yeah, well, in extremis, I suppose. I mean, yeah. that's I mean, um, yeah, and there, and there's a lot of um, I mean, it's a it's only taken me. 30 years to realise and look back that there's a lot of drowning, literal drowning in, in my books and there's a lot of almost drowning and in fact, you know, Cloud Street is a book, you know, being told by someone while they are drowning, yep. you know, and it, it takes him, as, you know, 400 pages to drown but, uh, you know, some people are just hard to get rid of, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a real theme there and it's funny because no one's ever really picked up on it given all the given all the um, theses and essays and, you know, um, articles that, that get written, they're always about, this, you know, the same kind of um, predictable um, themes that, you know, kids get sort of set 
you know, at, at school, and then they imbibe, you know, even more um, religiously at university. And um, something as simple and as as this, it's present in the text. Um, I think just gets overlooked because they're hunting for for the things that they, they think they're supposed to be looking for. Do you does do you get depressed or upset? Um, as I have recently done in relation to a book of mine which is being taught when I've seen the questions that are asked. Does, do you ever get upset by that? Does it, does, do you find it, you know, it takes your spirit a bit? Yeah, I try, I try not to because, yeah. um, you know, questions that are being asked and the, the way things are being taught is a bit like reviews. Um, it's like the weather. There's nothing much you can do about it. Yeah. It comes, 